Yeah, hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to the class number nine. In this Thursday, we're going to start by presenting the topic. And let me show you. Okay, the topic is, the topic is uh, have to and need to. Uh, similar a lo que estuvimos viendo ayer, estuvimos estudiando acerca de, pues, de estos uh, verbos. Have to is something mandatory, es algo obligatorio cuando tienes que hacer algo. And need to is something that it is important, but not at the same level. ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando decimos I need to, Cuando necesitamos hacer algo, necesitamos algo. Okay, so to start this class, we're going to begin with this vocabulary. Vamos con este vocabulario que es way to say hasta ahora. Hasta hoy o hasta ahora. So in this case, we have just, just four phrases. The first one is so far. So far, and the second is until now. Until now, number three, up to now. Up to now, number four, here to. Here to. And los cuatro significan lo mismo hasta ahora. So so far, until no until on, until now. And number three, up no es up. The rest up to now. And number four, here to. Okay, uh, so I'm going to check the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, good evening, and then pronounce one of these phrases when you listen to your name. Okay, we start with Elizabeth. Are you there? No, by now. Okay, we go now with Flo. I guess Flo. present. Okay, present teacher. Thank you. Flo. Until now. Perfect. We go now with Francis. Teacher, present. <laughs> okay, Elizabeth. Okay, very nice. Up to now. Thank you very much. Francisco, you go now. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Up to now. Okay, nice. Uh, Gabriel? No, Gabriel. Present. Very nice. Select one of these phrases. So Okay, so far. We go now with um, Helen. Present teacher. Okay, Helen. Up to now. Teacher, ya no se le escucha nada. ¿Y ahora? Ahora sí. Sí, ahora sí, teacher. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, it is, I don't know if it is, is here. No, by now. Jimmy, no, hasta ahora creo. Juan? Okay. And uh, Judith? Good evening. Good evening. What's Up your phrase? Up to now. Okay. Okay, up to now. Um, Ivania, are you at home? Maybe not. Okay, Carly. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Here are two. Nice. And Kathy. Hello. Hello there. Um, so far. Perfect. And uh, David. I don't know if David is here. Okay, we go with Marvin. Good evening, here. Thank you. Now let's, uh, Nelson. Mm, no, that's 
Okay. Patty. No, Patty. Roberto. Present t-shirt. So far. Nice. Thank you. And Christy. Good evening, Christy. Ajá. Tienes que hacer una frase de eso. Ok, William. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, William. Heather, too. Thank you. Very nice. Jocelyn, parece que viene del camino. And Aneris. I don't know if Aneris is here. Ok. Okay, we're going to start now. Hay palabras como un poco diferentes, como que nada que ver. Por ejemplo, so far, sí. Here to, um, como que extraño, ¿verdad? Pero igual significa hasta ahora. Okay. Um, hay otra frase que contenemos acá. Si decimos so far, so good, significa hasta ahora, todo bien. No significa so far, so good, hasta ahora, todo bien. De hecho, es el álbum, es un álbum de un cantante conocido que se llama Brian Adams. So far, so good. Pero en este caso solo tenemos so far. We go now with the first question. Give me your opinions. Should public transport be free? Why, why not? Debería ser gratis el transporte público. Okay. Let's listen to some of your ideas, some of your opinions. So just because that's really important. In this case, we're going to start with Marvin and then we go with Judith. Okay, Judith, are, uh, Marvin, are you ready to start? Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, yes, because it's the most frequent, frequently uh, using means of transport and it will also hit a low income people. Yes, yes. We use it frequently. We use it a lot, okay? And maybe there are a lot of people that uh, have car, they drive cars, but I maybe the 70% of the population is public, uh, public transport. Thank you, Marvin, very good point. Frequently, frequently. Okay, and Judith, now your point. Yes, because the financial burden is relief for low income people who spend uh, a significant part of their salary on bus ticket. Yes. It mm -hmm. okay. shows be a quality service, high frequency, high coverage, not because it is free, it should be bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, low income is uh, ingreso bajo, o bajo ingreso. And here we have Judith, another point of view. Uh, Judith says, if we pay, we deserve, deserve es merecer. We deserve a good service, right? And that's one point because nowadays you can see a lot of buses in bad condition, buses in malas condiciones, for example. And here we have like different situations like that, okay? But if you pay, you, you should receive the service. Thank you, Judith. A very good point. Now let's listen to what about Kathy and then William? Kathy, are you ready? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. um, uh, show public transport free. Yes, it's, it will be more accessible to the entry population. Okay. Okay, it could, it could be accessible. And for example, there are some buses in which uh, if there is a kid under seven years old, uh, they don't pay, right? Imagine que si tienen menos de siete años, como que no pagan. 
So, well, it depends. There are some conditions. Thank you, Kathy. Okay, William, your turn. Okay. Then we go with Christy. Yes, because uh, there will not be many cars and there will be less traffic. Okay, another point of view. Imagine if the public transport should be free, there is a possibility that people uh, should, what should use um, the public transportation and not uh, drive cars. It's a possibility. Okay, now let's listen to Christy. Are you ready, Christy? Um, okay. okay, good evening. Uh, public transport should be free book for people with limited resource, resources. Okay. O sea, debería ser gratis, pero para las personas de escasos recursos. Yes, uh, with low resources, yes, with uh, people with uh, difficulties in, in their economy. That's another uh, option, a very good idea. Thank you, Chris. Very nice. Or for, or for example, it should be free for students, para los estudiantes. That, that could be another condition. The public transport should be free for students or for elders. Cuando decimos elders, nos referimos a, pues, a, lo, a los mayores, ¿verdad? Tenemos, por ejemplo, elders, así es. A los mayores eh, de edad, ¿verdad? A los ancianitos, well, eh, it would be nice because maybe in some buses they don't pay, but most of them they pay. En la mayoría de, de, de transporte pagan los ancianitos. Okay. And very nice. We go now with Francisco and then Gabriel. Okay. And the yeah, transportation should be free only for the elderly study and analysis low income sector. Very, very well. Yes, Francisco, the same as we were. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Como estuvimos hablando, as we were saying, elderly and students and some uh, people, population with difficulties in their economy. Thank you. Gabriel, you go. Yes, because we're paying taxes, we'll be we'll implement that feature. Solamente. Thank you. Yes. An important word, tax, no taxi. Tax significa impuesto. We pay IVA uh, when we buy some a lot of products in the supermarket, in, in the malls, wherever, donde sea. And we pay impuesto sobre la renta, okay? Oh, we have that discount in our salary every year. And sometimes uh, that money doesn't return. So imagine uh, the government receives uh, taxes, not only by natural people, okay, IVA and impuestos sobre la renta, but uh, the enterprises give, uh, they pay taxes too. So imagine, uh, it could be another source of money for government. Puede ser que quiero tomar como otra fuente de dinero para mejorar, okay. Thank you. We're going to continue with this and we will have some expressions. For example, we're going to talk about need and have to, okay? In this case, here we have a short, very short conversation and I will need the help of, what if we listen to Gabriel and Carly? Gabriel, you're going to be Mark, and Carly, you're going to be Bree. Okay. Okay, please. I really need that memo, Bree. Just a moment, please. I need to speak to Mr. Wilson, please. It's very important. Try a one. 
Very nice, thank you. Okay, in this case, uh, la centro aquí, important, important. Okay, perfect. Eh, necesito, es el mismo brief, solo un momento, por favor, necesito hablar con el señor Wilson, por favor, es muy importante, en ese momento, right away. So, if you notice, I really need, I need, okay, but if you notice, uh, Mark is, is uh, using the word please, utiliza la palabra please, and that's very important because uh, he sounds polite, suena amable, and that's really good. Expressions to state urgency. Se dice or, urgency, en lugar de un se dice, se pronuncia la o. Expressions to state urgency. And we have two options. We have two options here. It's very important, it's very important, or I really need. When you listen to those phrases, it means that it is urgent. Significa que es urgente, que es, um, let me see. Urgent. Mandatory significa obligatorio. Si quieren anoten esa palabra. Son de esas palabras que a veces uno no hay como decir que como obligatorio. Ok. Hay algunos que también utilizan obligatory, pero no es tan común. Even for, so for us, because we speak Spanish and we, and we ob, obligatorio, obligatory, it's similar. But in English, it is like more common to say mandatory. Es más común decir mandatorio, como obligatorio, mandatory. Okay, so take notes, eh, y hay que memorizar esta palabra, okay? Urgent, es urgente, por eso dice urgency, de urgencia, okay? Remember, it's very important, I really need two important phrases, dos eh, frases que sí nos sirven bastante para detallar urgencia. Okay, let's continue. Recuerden también que es right away, right away. Podemos decir right away o right away, como que la T suena como R. Right away, raro, right away. Oh, very good. And now let's see. Okay. Okay, let me see. Here we have reading, tenemos ratos de no verlo, el, la cuestión de la lectura. Aquí dice, pay the work, read the email, the email, no the email, the email, and organize activities where the Lupe needs to do by importance. Vamos a organizar actividades, activities, Guadalupe needs to do by importance. Las actividades que Guadalupe necesita hacer by importance significa por importancia. ¿Verdad? O sea, la más importante, first, primera, la menos importante, second, segunda, y así sucesivamente. Okay, we have four, four activities. As always, you're going to help me reading. So we have from, que significa de, de quien lo envía. Daniel Ruiz at Travers.com. Subject, que es el tema o el asunto. Very important tasks for this month. Tareas para este mes. Dear Guadalupe, dear, uh, these are some of the tasks for this month. Eh, querida Guadalupe, estas son algunas de las tareas para este mes. Ok. Eh, es un correo. As we can see. So let's uh, listen to some of you. We're going to start in this case with Roberto. And after Roberto, we go with um, Christy. Okay, Roberto, you start here. I really okay. need. I really need you to contact the first triple potential customer in the list. What do you say? List. Uh, in the list. In the list from Mr. Sanchez. Continue. Yes, please. 
you have three days to do it. Three hours each day. Okay, very nice. Three hours each day. We go with Christy and then Francisco. Call. Call the new client from the, the last from the last three weeks and years. Then the catalog information for June. Uh, you have those uh, two days, two days to do it one. Hour each hour, day, one hour, hour each day. One hour each, each day. Okay, each day. Uh, Francisco, okay. and after Francisco, we go with Flor. It's very, it's very important to send the two latest sale report on May 26th. And they write a new welcome letter for the new customer. You have one day to do it for hours. Okay, nice. And we're going to uh, listen to Carly, finally. Finally, visit the two stores in Santa Tecla. You have two days to do it two hours each day. Organize your week. Okay, thank you. Best regards, cuando decimos best regards, es como los mejores deseos. Si gustan pueden anotar esa frase, eso se utiliza bastante en los correos electrónicos. Mm -hmm. Best regards, ¿verdad? Es casi, casi como el saludo cordial que lo utilizan bastante. Okay, Daniel Ruiz. So, uh, if you notice, we have four tasks, tenemos cuatro tareas, and also, Notice that we have the number of hours. Tenemos el número de horas que se va a llevar eh, eh, para realizar esa tarea cada día. Cuando decimos each day, no sé si conocen esta palabra, pero esta palabra se dice each, que significa cada. Y pitch. Es durazno. Fíjense como les menciono el patrón de las palabras. Each, pitch, each, pitch. ¿Verdad? Entonces se parece bastante en la pronunciación, solo la P eh, que se le agrega. Ok. Now, in this case, eh, we have to order by importance. Por importancia. Recuerden acá, ¿verdad? Es important. No important. O important. No, important important okay so as we have um, this let's listen to some of you vamos a escuchar algunos de ustedes a ver quién me comentan sobre estas sobre las actividades que tiene que hacer guadalupe activities that guadalupe has to do by importance okay tenemos que verlo uh, posiblemente según las fechas, según los días, ok. A ver si tenemos voluntarios. The first one, contact the three potential customer from the list. Este es uno, ok. Call the new clients for three weeks. Send the two latest sales reports. And visit to the two stores in Santa Tecla. Okay. Any ideas? Okay. We're going to listen in this case to Aneris. Are you there? Okay. Maybe it's not ready. What about if we listen to? Um, Roberto, any idea? Mm. Debemos de tomar en cuenta los días que tiene para hacerlo. Ok. Los días que tiene para hacerlo, ¿verdad? Porque algunos tienen más días, otros menos días. Quiero ver, Brian. 
and then curly. Okay. Call the new call the new client. Uh -huh. ¿Qué número sería? Eh, sería first, second, third, or fourth. Sería el primero. Are you sure? Aquí call the new client. Tenemos dos días para hacerlo. Ok. Vamos a dejarla en pausa. Porque tenemos dos días. Vamos a ver cuál es la más urgente. ¿Quién es la más urgente? La que tenemos, vamos a tener más tiempo. Y la cuatro es la que tenemos, ¿verdad? Teacher. Ok. Yes, Juan. In, in my opinion, in fears, eh, visit the new store in Santa Tech. Ok. You say, después vamos con Carly. Vale, vamos a ver, permítame. La última, dicha. Visit. visit. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, tenemos visit. That's number one. Visit the store. Ok. Nice. Eh, Carly. Mm. Second is contact the first three potential consumer in the list from oh. three days. Ok. Bien, aquí en esta tenemos eh, visit, es la, es la principal. Ok, aquí tenemos contact. Es la segunda para ti. Sí. Vale, vamos a ver. Ya vamos a, a ver. Contact what? Contact the first three potential customers in the leads from. Ah, está ahí. Ok, nice. Here we have also Judith and Kathy, right, Judith? In my opinion, number three, uh, call the new client from, from the last three weeks. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And Kathy? Um, T-shirt. In mm -hmm. my opinion, first, no, um, no sería. Not visit send... the stores. No, uh -huh. uh, first mm -hmm. sería send it to late, to late sales reports. Okay. But have one day. That's number one for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. one, one, one day para, o sea, para hacer. Yes, that's it. Here we have just four hours to do mm -hmm. it. Ni siquiera hay un día, ¿verdad? Four mm -hmm. hours to do it. Okay, very nice. So that's number one, okay? Porque solo tenemos cuatro horas para hacerlo. Then here we have, um, let me see. Visit the stores. And visit the stores. Tenemos, uh, you have two days. Dos días and contact the first but the three potential okay here we have les explico de esta manera send para esta actividad de send solo tenemos cuatro horas okay luego tenemos um, visit the stores tenemos two days aquí está uh, luego tenemos contact tenemos acá let me see tenemos three days ¿Verdad? Y call uh, the clients. Ok. Tenemos two days. Ok. Entonces quedaría así. Teacher. Uh -huh. Pero eh, no sé si yo he entendido mal, pero yo entiendo que call the new clients dice que es today, pero es para junio, no. Uh -huh. Y el otro dice que solo tiene dos días para hacerlo. Ajá, tienes, ajá, tienes dos días. Ajá, sí. pero no dice el mes, me imagino que es uh -huh, antes. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, eh, no, no dice, o sea, eso es lo que se tiene, la fecha, la deadline, pero para hacerlo solo se tiene cuatro horas, 
Uh -huh. Aquí no es tanto cuestión de, de fecha, sino cuestión cuánto tiempo, how much time you have to do it. Okay. okay. Um, but, pero ahí dice, you have one day to do it, four uh -huh. hours. O four sea, un hours. día, cuatro, cuatro horas en un día. En cuatro horas se hace. Ok, uh -huh. so that's okay. the point. Eh, lo que se necesita acá es repartir el tiempo. Ok, ya. No, se, no podemos pasar, we, eh, people can spend, no puede pasar, can spend time doing one activity in one day, maybe four hours, okay? So here we have, uh, here we have three days contact, the first potential, ese es el tercero, el último, porque tiene tres días, en los otros tienen dos, ¿verdad? Contact, the first, three potential, ¿verdad? En este, Okay, so that's it. And, and aquí tenemos las otras, ¿verdad? Que es visit stores, ¿verdad? Que este sería acá. Okay, entonces, como pueden ver, aquí sería, ¿verdad? Send to lady sales, visit store, call to new clients, content, the first three potential, and so on. So, well, thank you. Puedo ver que hay una buena pronunciación. Pero eh, recuerden que aquí se dice important, important, ¿ok? Let's move. And here we have this. Como teacher, important. Important, yes. En la O tiene el acento. Important. Important. Yes, that's it. Ok. Should public transport be free? Why, why not? In this case, we're going to listen to Flor. And then we go with... Uh, Carly. Uh, yes, the public transport in many countries of the world, it is a service mm -hmm. for senior city, citizens and children. Okay, good one, yes. The same as we were talking in some countries, uh, the public transport is free, okay? Especially for seniors and for kids. Thank you. Okay, we go with Carly in this time, and then we go with Juan. Okay, Carly, what's your opinion about this question? I think it shouldn't be free, okay. but, but they could exonerate some graphs, such as students and the early, elderly, because if it's completely free, it is good, be an economy loss for the country. Mm -hmm. A oh, good point, Carly, yes. Uh, sometimes when the services are free, people like are always asking for more. I mean, la gente pide más cuando todo es gratis. People ask and ask for more, okay? So it is a part of the income of government, ingreso para el gobierno, okay? But there are some exceptions. Podrían haber algunas excepciones, definitely. Very good point. And Juan and then Judith, no sé si ya pasó Judith. No, right. No, no, I said to Judith. I'm so sorry. Okay, Juan, are you ready? Teacher, uh, in my opinion, yes. it should, it should be free okay. for all senior and also for a student. Okay, very nice. Yes, definitely. It should. <laughs> Imagine uh, some students spend, okay? Uh, recuerden que cuando decimos spend significa gastar y waste significa um, desperdiciar, ok? And imagine there are a lot of students that they spend, for example, one dollar in the public transport every day, or maybe 75 cents. Imagine in five days of school, five dollars. In a month, 20 dollars. So it is kind of, difficult for people who have like a elementary salary pero que tiene como el salario mínimo it's kind of difficult to, 
to, to spend money in that area. Okay, now let's listen in this case to uh, Roberto. And then we go with Ivania, Sister Lisa. Okay, Roberto, you go. Oh, okay, yes. Firstly, there should be free transfer because today it is it, it, it is often difficult to get home early after work, and we will also save money, more money. And finally, it will be great to have free transport because we will travel without spending a money. Okay, another good point as well. Uh, yes, Roberto and Aneris, are you there? No, no lo he hecho aún. No, okay, I'm going to give you time. What about if we listen to Elizabeth? Ready, teacher. Okay, thank you. In my opinion, I think it would be a good strategy to implement a program like this because currently the cost of living is quite high. In addition, public transport is usually used by the most economically vulnerable sector of society. Society, mm -hmm. yes, uh, I agree. Estoy de acuerdo, yes. Society, and we have, it is like, the cost of the living is really high. Como dice que el costo de la vida es realmente alto. Imagine, and so the, this, well, spending money, public transport, it, it is really hard. Okay, and what about, if we listen now to Ivania? I don't know if Ivania is there. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Perfect, Ivania. Are you ready to give your opinion? And then we go with Nelson. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, we will all benefit from free public transport, but before doing that, the government must manage the transport, sec transport sector. Okay. And and then absorb it, it with that expensive. Since uh, no income will be perceived. In conclusion, in sent to meet the, the idea, since uh, it will, be, will help a lot of even with the traffic. Okay, that's another point. Um, Besides, apart, besides uh, that some income for the government, also uh, the, the traffic jam, el, el, digamos, tráfico pesado o los embotellamientos, it is something that is getting worse. By empeorando. If you notice, uh, the traffic jam nowadays is more difficult than, what, four years ago. Hace cuatro años no había tanto tráfico. Obviously, always traffic, but not at the same level. So imagine it. I guess you take, I don't know how much time you take to move from your house to your workplace. Maybe one hour or two hours. Even if there are some people that they take almost three hours. Imagine, three hours in the morning and three hours in the evening. You are, you spend, tú gastas, you spend six hours just traveling, moving, and you can, well, that time can be like a better, better uh, taken, or me mejor aprovechado. Thank you. Nelson, te veo bien formalito, Nelson. Ah, no, pues sí, ¿cómo era? Uh, my boys, my boss wants but uh, shape. um, shapes the bird, the, no, the, the beard, the, uh -huh. bird, the bird. <laughs> okay, yes, it Ni is modo. important. It is important. Así toca. Ni okay. modo, man. tuvimos que aceptar el régimen. <laughs> Así es. Ni modo, Así es la vida. Okay, Nelson, what's your opinion about this? 
Okay. Should public transport be free? There are conflicting opinions, but it must be borne in mind that when citizens decide which means of transport to use, what they value most is comfort, speed, and safety. If it's free, but it takes a lot a long time, or it leave, uh, leaves uh, you far away, or it doesn't work when you need it. You keep using the car, um, and the price is not impediment. Uh, but as I it entails zero cost for the citizen, it can really be a real alternative to use of combustion engine vehicles. Yep, that's it. I don't remember what was the last statistics about the number of cars in the Salvador. I guess we have, I don't know, maybe four millions maybe of cars or three millions. Mm -hmm. If you notice uh, nowadays, we have more and more cars in, in the borders in Haduana because of there are a lot of cars in also in how to say in como se llama el lugar donde se llevan los carros en qué parte de Panca Aduana Changayo sí. Changayo yes <laughs> yes in Changayo we have some other cars el el famoso Changayo <laughs> sí creo que ahí se llevaron el de Cristi okay and it is difficult like, dicho lo ya sin llanta <laughs> sí yes that's true qué pasó dicho <laughs> See, I think that does not mean that it was free. So I have seen that with all taxes, we cover that expense. Yeah. That wouldn't be totally free because imagine there are some payments that transport enterprises receive. ¿verdad? Los empresarios reciben dinero, ¿verdad? Un subsidio, imagine. And that money, it's from our taxes. Todo ese dinero va de nuestros impuestos. So, it wouldn't be totally free, but um, the way we are talking is that no payment, but every, every bus, ¿verdad? Lo que nos referimos es no pagar por cada bus, ¿verdad? But, yes, definitely, we have some difficulties talking about the number of buses, the traffic jam, the number of cars, and also the security in the public transport. That's another point that it is not so good, okay? So that's why a lot of people don't use public transport because it's not safe, porque no es seguro. They should eliminate private transport. Well, that's another option. Uh, mm, they could uh, eliminate mm -hmm. uh, the same. Okay. Uh, it seems to me, me parece, como dice Ivania, Shai, como dice Nelson, que pasó ahí por el régimen, traffic jam, que es eh, tráfico, embotellamiento, spend, gastar, waste, eh, desperdiciar. Ahora, hay una frase. When you say, I like to spend time with my family, se refiere a mí me gusta pasar el tiempo con mi familia. No significa me gusta gastar el tiempo con mi familia. Spend significa gastar, pero cuando nos referimos al tiempo significa a pasar tiempo, dedicar tiempo. So don't confuse with, that, with those definitions. No hay que confundirme con esas definiciones. Because when you say, ah, I spend time with my friends, ah, paso tiempo, o dedico tiempo a mis amigos, and so on. Okay, um, let's move to a short conversation. You have John Lennon and Anne, Anne Frank, okay. Uh, if you notice, there are some phrases in bold. Hay frases de in negrita. And there are two options. Need to, have to. Okay. 
ah, hay algo eh, que tú necesites hacer mañana, ok, y la segunda, bueno, aquí cuando dice John, well, I have to reschedule, bueno, tengo que reprogramar, reagendar, I have to, es como más obligatorio, Mam, algo que realmente urge, ok, so let me see, ok, Esto lo pronunciamos así. Schedule significa agenda. Ok. Agenda horario. Ok. Schedule. Bien rara esa palabra. Schedule. Schedule. Ok. Entonces cuando decimos reschedule es reprogramar, ¿verdad? Reagenda. Ok. Uh, let's see, yeah, mm, and this word. El acento está en la I, interesting. No me digan interesting, teacher. Okay. Interesting es trisílabo, interest, trust. La segunda E, esta, no se pronuncia. Interesting, ok. Important. Ahí va en la O. Interesting va al inicio. Reschedule. El acento es súper importante. Because you can speak English, but if you don't give the correct accent, your English is going to sound weird. Va a sonar raro su inglés si no hacemos el acento eh, adecuado. ¿Verdad? La fuerza de voz adecuada. Okay, here we have John and Anne. For this, I will need you to help me. Uh, Marvin, can you help me? You're going to be John Lennon. Tú vas a ser John Lennon. Y en este caso, vamos, tenemos a Katy que va a ser Yoko Ono. Ah, no, Anne. Tú serías Anne. Okay. Okay. Um, is there... sí. okay. Um, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call some clients. And you? Well, I had I had to reschedule to meeting for for tomorrow. They were cancelled today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important information to some clients tomorrow. That's so interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Uh, important. Important. Y aquí sería sounds. Okay. Sounds. Sounds. Very nice, Katy. Good, Marvin. Okay. Estas palabritas. Eh, Solo hace falta repasarlos un poco, pero lo hicieron súper bien. Read the schedule, important, sounds, interesting. Fíjense bien. Si ustedes dicen, that sounds interesting. No digo que ustedes lo dijeron así, ¿verdad? Solo escuchen el, el eh, la pronunciación. That sounds interesting. Y ahora, that sounds interesting. Cambia bastante, ¿verdad? That sounds interesting. Entonces, a eso me refiero, ¿verdad? Con el tema del, um, del acento y la pronunciación, ¿ok? So, we're going to practice a little bit. And maybe we can have uh, the screenshot. Aneris, ¿nos puedes ayudar? Please. Tal vez nos ayudas con la captura. Creo que en él es... Ah, no, ahí está. Very nice. Ahí está. Sí. Thank you. Pensé que te estaba regañando. ¿no? Ok. <risa> Perfect. We're going to practice a little bit. Eh, Denle una revisada ahorita, ¿verdad? A la pronunciación de esas palabras y luego regresamos. 
Um, give me a minute. I'm going to organize the pairs. So let me a minute. Hola. Buenas noches. Uh, solo denme un minuto. Estoy organizando. Bueno. La, 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 Okay, see you in a moment.
Okay. In this case, um, here we have this uh, conversation, and I will need some uh, of your to pronounce it. Okay, Juan. Uh, I need you to be John, and we're going to listen to who else? Let me see. Ivania. Okay. Juan, you're going to be John. Cabal, Juan, John. Okay. Uh, and is there some? So many you need to do tomorrow. Yes, actually I need to call some clients and you. Well, well, I have to reschedule to meeting for tomorrow. They will cancel today. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I have to improve. Well. I have to provide important. Information. information to some information to some customer. That's uh, interesting. 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 Yes, mm -hmm. sí, esa es bien tricky. Yo lo sé. Uh, okay, so interesting. Thank you. Now we're going to have a listening exercise. So in this case, I'm going to present. I'm going to present one one audio, okay? And in this case, I need you to take notes. Es un párrafo. It's a girl and she's going to give information about herself. So I need you to take notes. Deme un segundo mientras preparo este audio. Okay, let's listen. Yes. Okay. Hey guys, my name is Lisette. L I S S E T T E, but not Lisette. L I Z E T H. I work in a restaurant downtown. Its name is Los Pollos Hermanos. And my boss is Scott Rain. I have worked as a waitress for five years. Currently, I'm studying business administration. This is my last year at the university. Next year, I want to become a manager. And in the future, I would like to have my own business. For that reason, I am taking different training related to customer service, cooking, recruitment. In my point of view, everything is possible, but not easy. So I'm working really hard to achieve my goal. Okay, let's listen one more time. Hey guys, my name is Lisette, L-I-S-S-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, but not Lisette. L-I-Z-E-T-H. -E I work in a restaurant downtown. Its name is Los Pollos Hermanos. And my boss is Scott Spring. I have worked as a waitress for five years. Currently, I'm studying business administration. This is my last year at the university. Next year, I want to become a manager. And in the future, I would like to have my own business. For that reason, I am taking different training related to customer service, cooking, recruitment. In my point of view, everything is possible, but not easy. So I'm working really hard to achieve my goal. Okay, now that we have this audio, I need you to everybody say one or 
two words. Todos me van a decir una o dos palabras que identificaron. Sé que algunos captaron frases, pero necesito que me den una o dos palabras. Yo lo voy a ir mencionando. Ok, we start with Elizabeth and then Patty. Elizabeth. Ready? Ok. No, let's listen to Patty and then William. Is there a recruit, recruitment? Recruitment, ok. Um, okay. okay. William and Ivania. Este restaurant creo que dijo uno. Mm -hmm. And? Solo una. Okay. Elisep, no sé si se llama Elisep. Ok, Elisep, ya vamos a ver cómo se le trae. Ivania en Roberto. I think say customer service. <laughs> ok, good one. Roberto en Juan. University, uh, my name is. Ok, Juan en Aneris. Okay, we go with Aneris and Gabriel. No, escucha nada. Aneris, no puede ser posible. En serio, no entendí nada. Aneris está peleando por, no sé, creo que está discutiendo por chat. Algo me dice eso. Okay. Okay, Juan. Aquí estoy. Este, sí, yo el capté customer service, and bar, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Customer, customer service. Customer. Yes, good. Gabriel and David. Okay, if Gabriel is not ready, let's move to David and Flor. Okay, so now let's move with Flor and Iris. Okay, Flor. Uh, for years cooking. Good one, thank you. Iris and Judith. Hello, teacher. Hi. Um, pude escuchar que dice que she wants um, her own business. Yeah, perfect. Judith and Marvin. Customer service. I want to. I want to. Okay. Sí, porque me estabas copiando ahí. Thank you. Okay, Marvin and Marvin. Carly. Uh, business is customer at university. Thank you. Carly and Francisco. Um, boss and restaurant. Good. Yes. Nice. Uh, Francisco and Katy. No, teacher, no, no escucho muy bien. Nada, okay. Katy and Nelson. Restaurant, los pollos hermanos, creo que dijo. Yes, los pollos, hermano. Ok, thank you, Katy. Ok, eh, me hizo trampa ahí porque me dijo palabra en español, pero no dije que si podían ser en español o en inglés. Realmente. Voy a jugar. Eh, Nelson y Christy. Um, Lisette, uh, restaurant, the chicken brother. Chicken. Uh, customer service. Eh, eh, Nelson le gusta inventar, ya vi. Ok, nice. No dijo si lo podíamos pasar a, in a inglés. <laughs> Tampoco dije, es, es correcto. Ok, nice. Eh, Christy, do you have another? Teacher, teacher, yo no comprendí qué es lo que íbamos a hacer ahorita. Eh, bien, Christy, como en todos los audios que siempre les pongo, tienen que anotar palabras que escuchen. Ok, Christy. Mm, no, teacher, no, 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 no. No le puse atención, sinceramente. Sí, o sea, pero, no le puse atención. pero en todos los audios que yo siempre le voy a presentar, eh, ten listo lápiz o lapicero y anote. Ok, okay. Okay. Sí. ok, sí. Yes, vale. um, let's see. ¿Alguien tiene una idea cómo se deletrea Lisette acá? Porque ya da dos maneras, pero hay una correcta. ¿Alguien que me levante la mano del emoji? ¿Qué palabra dice? El nombre de ella. Lisette. Lisette. Uh -huh. eh, Deletréamelo, ¿podrías? En inglés, if you can. No. Richard, okay. Richard, en uh, L-I-S-S-E-T-H-E. -E. Uh -uh. No. Uh, um, no, además me la deben de deletrear en inglés. Come on, you can. Uh, ok, any other? 
L E L I C C V E C H. Casi, casi. Está inventando, Carly. Ajá. Vale, vamos a ver. Pero está bien, me gusta que tengan creatividad, me gusta. Casi me las creo, casi me las creo. Ok. Any other? No. Um, ok, Katy. Se va a animar. Dice. Uh, a si, si me logra convencer. L-I-S-S-E-T-H. -S Casi, Katy. Por poco caigo. Eso es mentira. Ok, no problem. I'm going to present the audio. Le voy a presentar el audio solo esa parte. Y a ver si, si logran captar. Hey guys, my name is Lisette. L I S S E T T E. Okay. Yes. No. Yes. Vamos a ver, Carly. L I S S E T E. Te faltó una. Otra T. Sí. Yes. Okay, sí. Bien, vamos a ver. Here is um, an audio and let's listen this, okay? Hey guys, my name is Lisette. L-I-S-S-E-T-T-E, -E, but not Lisette. L-I-V-E-T-H. I work in a restaurant downtown. Its name is Los Pollos Hermanos, and my boss is Bob Rain. I have worked as a waitress for five years. Currently, I'm studying business administration. This is my last year at the university. Next year, I want to become a manager, and in the future, I would like to have my own business. For that reason, I am taking different training related to customer service, cooking, recruitment. In my point of view, everything is possible, but not easy. So I'm working really hard to achieve my goal. Okay, now that we have this, ya que tenemos esto, le voy a presentar ahora otro audio, va a ser el mismo, va a ser el mismo párrafo, pero es otra pronunciación. Y me dicen ustedes, la que acabamos de escuchar es number one. Vamos a escuchar number two. La misma, el mismo párrafo, diferente pronunciación. Y me dicen cuál lo escuchan más claro. Hi, guys. My name is Lizette. l i s s e t t e But no, Lizette. L-I-V-E-T-H. I work in a restaurant in downtown. My name is Los Pollos Hermanos. And my boss is Godfrey. I have worked as a waitress for five years. Currently, I'm studying in business administration. This is my last year at the university. Next year, I want to become a manager. And in the future, I would like to have my own business. For that reason, I am taking different trainings related to customer service, cooking, and recruitment. In my point of view, everything is possible, but not easy. So I'm working really hard to achieve my goal. Okay. So in this case, let's see. Bien. Um, tenemos option one or option two. Creo que... Bien, vamos a escuchar algo de ustedes. Judith, ¿cuál fue más clara? One or two? One. One. Ok. Hay alguien, levante la mano así de emojis que considere que el number two fue más, fue más claro. Mm. Iris dice que sí. Vamos a ver. Patty dice que sí. Bien. El resto dice que number one. Bien. Ambas. Gracias, Patty. Eh, Iris. Ambas. Both of them are teachers. Really good teachers. Ambas son maestras de inglés muy buenas. Realmente tienen una posición muy, muy buena. Aunque la primera es un poquito más, 
definida y pausada. En cambio, la segunda es like, uh, more fluent, más con más fluidez. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, sí pueden captar diferentes tipos de acentos y eso me alegra bastante. Ahora, cuando pongo a veces audios, if you notice, if you have tricky parts, tenemos partes un poquito tramposas, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, esta. Eh, my name is Lizette, but not Lizette. L-I-Z-E-T-H. ¿Verdad? Esto era para una trampa, como la que nos ponen a veces. ¿Verdad? Entonces, es, es bueno. Bueno, atención a, a ciertas partes, pero lo hicieron bastante bien. Esto significa eh, reclutamiento. Recruitment. Re Recruitment sin la I. Recruitment. Que es como reclutamiento o contratación. Ok, now let's move to another part. Let me see. Here we have. Second question. Do you think that life is better now than 50 years ago? Why? Ok. Entonces, si creen que la vida de ahora es mejor a comparación de hace 50 años, let's listen to some of you. And for this activity, um, I will need um, Nelson's opinions, the first. And then we will have Iris as number two. I don't finish it. <laughs> not ready. Todavía no está listo. Not ready. Not, not ready. Not ready. No problem. Así pasa a veces. And let me see. Vamos con Iris. And then we go with Aneris. Iris. Hola. Hola. Hola, hola. Hi. Ok. Eh, ah, permíteme. Oye, oh, ya te escucho más lejos. Hola. Hola, hola. Ajá, dime. Ah. Um, related with the question number two. Yep. Uh, there were probably good times. According to my parents, the economy was a little better when the column was in circulation. Natural resources were more abundant and there was not much global warming like now. Okay, very nice. The currency, the money uh, was, well, we had Colón and now we have dollar, right? It, was, it is different. And yeah, good point. We have natural resources, recursos naturales. Definitely, in the past, we have more, teníamos más, okay? So uh, thank you, it's very good point. Very nice idea. Okay. Let's listen now to Juan and then Francisco, que viene con todos, Francisco. Okay, Juan, what about you? Teacher. Yes. But in my opinion, no, because five, 15 years, I say, brother. 50 years. Mm -hmm. 50 years. Age, there was not much pollution and food was ab abundant. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Juan says no, because 50 years ago, as cinco años, there was no the same level of pollution and there were more abundance of food. Okay, nice points. What about Frank? And then we go with um, Flo. Okay, hey, no, my opinion, my opinion is no, life is different from how is was life is to share. I go technology, technology, transportation, and various uh, amenities. A uh, uh, clear example, just like us, change in the same way the population has explained and a lot of natural 
search had been lost. Yes, very good point. And maybe in the past we didn't have the same level of technology and amenities. Amenities as comodidades, right? But now we have some amenities and technology, but yes, as you mentioned, uh, in the past we had more natural resources, okay? Now let's listen to Flor. Uh, then Marvin. No, mm -hmm. no, because nowadays we have technology that makes life easier, but the polluters the environment. Okay, okay. Now we have, Flor says, we have more technology, but it pollutes. We have more pollution, and that's where we have like the source, cause, and result. Tenemos como la causa y el efecto. Okay, good point. And we have now um, Marvin, and then we go with Kathy. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, yes. Because 50 years ago, the world is not the same as now. However, for the same country, the opposite is true. For example, um, PC, PC and mobiles were a science fiction that everyone now has access to. Mm, well, yes, that's another big difference. We have now access to information and to a lot of things, okay? Yes, a lot of differences, grande diferencias. Okay, uh, Marvin, very nice. We go with, can we hear Kathy, creo. Yes. Okay. Um, in my opinion, not. No. Since there is more pollution. Okay, yes. Definitely, we have more pollution. And you can see with the rain, there are some um, floods, floods as inundaciones. We have yeah. a lot of pools in the center of the cities, especially in some parts of San Salvador. That's really, really bad, okay? Well, that's a result of pollution, okay? Thank you. We go now with, um, what if we have, Gabriel and then William. Okay, teacher. Uh, my opinion is yes, because everything has changed today from technology, transportation, and business. Mm -hmm. That's it. Business are different. In the past, we didn't have a lot of uh, enterprises or businesses, no había ni, ni negocios pequeños, ni tanto emprendedurismo. Now, well, there were, había, there were, but now we have like a variety. And also we have more streets, even that could be not so good, quizás no es tan bueno en algunos aspectos, but we have more access to streets, as Gabriel says. Thank you. And let's listen to William and Nelson. Uh, no, because life is much more expensive. Okay. Talking about currency in the past, uh, some, well, in my case, creo que algunos de ustedes también lo, lo, lo vivieron. We uh, remember the use of colon, okay? The use of uh, colones, it was really different. I remember maybe that that is my perspective or my point of view because I was a kid. But I remember that 100 colones used to last more than $100. Como que 100 colones duraban más que 100 dólares. But that, well, it has a, a lot of circumstances that have influence. Okay. But well, that's uh, some points of view. Nelson, you go. All right. Um, no, because technology has surpassed human intelligence. Today, the cell phone is more pending than the person itself. Pollution has grown along with the global warming. Oh, yes. 
global warming es el calentamiento global. And that is affecting more and more. There are the seasons. Uh, in the past, there were a very specific dates when the winter started, okay? Había fecha específica donde comenzaba el invierno. Now we have differences in those differences in the, in the dates, in the calendar, have negative impact in the farming, in the plantations, verdad, in todo lo que es la agricultura, agriculture, and it is like a chain of problems, una cadena de problemas. It is really, really hard for that. Okay, thank you, my friends. Now we're going to have like a different activity. Después continuamos con eso. We're going to create, we're going to create a conversation by using this. Vamos a hacer una conversación con sus compañeros. Todo van a pasar. Todas las parejas. Entonces vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Instead, instead of saying Ana, Uh, por ejemplo, se va, se va William con Iris. Entonces, acá eh, ya no va a decir Anne, va a decir Iris. Is there something you need to do tomorrow? ¿Verdad? Entonces, Iris va a decir, yes, actually, I need to. En este caso, si no va a llamar clientes, ella puede decir, yes, actually, I need to check my mail. I need to. Y send uh, some informs. I need to attend meetings. Ok. Háganlo con su información personal. Les estoy subrayando lo que ustedes van a cambiar. Pueden cambiar eso también. Ok, entonces eh, estas son cosas que ustedes, lo que es subrayado es lo que pueden cambiar. Eh, si van a, um, you're going to visit some clients, si van a visitar clientes, porque ahí dice, eh, en este caso dice, I need to call some clients. You can say, I need to visit some clients. I need to check inventory, si necesitan revisar inventario. Ok, háganlo con la información de sus funciones from the things you do at, in your workplace. Lo que ustedes hacen en su lugar de trabajo. Okay. Do we have questions with this? Cuando hayan terminado, este, la practican lo suficiente. Y pues necesito que sea, eh, necesito que sea fluida, ¿verdad? Fluida. Necesito que sea un poquito rápida. Ahora, ya que vamos a entrar casi a la... We're going to finish the second week. Termina la segunda semana. Vamos a la tercera, la otra semana. Y necesito, necesito más fluidez. ¿Ok? Ya no son beginners one. No son, ya no son eh, pues principiante uno. Son principiante dos. Van a tres. Y hay que avanzar. Hay que dar un paso ya. Hay que cambiar ese chip. ¿Ok? So, see you in a moment. Van a trabajar con las mismas personas. Creo que con las personas que estuvieron. Si no, ya reviso acá. ¿Ok? Um, escriban si quieren, ¿verdad? Hacen su conversation. Regresamos en unos 7, 8 minutos. Seguramente se pueden tardar. Ok, sigue en un momento. Practiquen lo suficiente. Roberto, necesito que aceptes la solicitud. Perfecto.
Okay, Kathy and Gabriel, are you ready? Yes. Okay, let me show you the, okay, uh, Gabriel and Kathy. Let me turn this account. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Catherine, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually I need to call some supplier. Well, I had to contact the engineer for tomorrow. Oh, that's too bad. Yes, I had to provide important <laughs> important information to some customer. That's uh, interest, interesting. 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 Yes, so uh, interesting. That's nice. Thank you. Very good job. Uh, Ivania, hello. Sí, teacher, acabo de entrar, fíjense. ¿Qué pasó, Porque Ivania? se me descargó el teléfono, así que Eso, no pude con nadie. <laughs> no pude con nadie. <laughs> okay. okay, let me see. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Let's wait a little bit for the others. Vamos a esperar un poquito más a los demás. Lo que parece se estaban bien emocionados. Okay, Judith, hello. Ready? Hello. Ready. Okay, who is your classmate? Uh, Marvin, right? Yes. Okay, uh, please go. Um, okay, Judith, what will you do first thing in the morning? Yes, actually, I need to prepare income reports. And you? Well, I had to tidy uh, the furniture actually every day. Oh, what an excellent activity. Yes, I had to do it as I will have inventory very soon. This is very important. Very nice. Important, Judith. Important. 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 Yes, that's it. Creo que esa va a ser tu cruz, esa palabra, okay? Very good job. Bien hecho. Now let's listen to Flor. Who was your classmate, Flor? Nelson. Mm, okay. Please, show time. Okay, Flor, is there okay. something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need attend meetings and prepare prepare report and you. Well, I had to meet with the clients in the morning. They called to me for fix the equipment. That is very unfortunate. Yes. I have checked my inventory of parts. Very nice. Okay, good. That. Okay. okay. Ah, continúa. Segunda parte. No, no, no. La última le faltó. La última ah, frase. Dale. Sí, pero es que se ve desapareció la, 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 la. Ya no pude ver la pantalla. Okay, mira, te hicieron llorar la nice. idea. Estaba bien su ocasión. Van bien. Okay. That's so interesting. 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 <laughs> Bien, las dos palabras que son sus némesis es important and interesting. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let's listen now to Judith. Ya pasó Judith. Ya, ya pasó. Y son compañeros, de, son compañeros de trabajo. No. No, pues no, no. Okay. No problem. Let's go now with Carly. Carly B. Okay. Uh, who is your classmate? Um, Christy. 
Okay. Christy, I'm ready. Christy. Um, you ready, Christy? Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh. And Christy, uh, there's something you need to do tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Uh, Darling, yes. Actually, I need to check emails and do. And I have to check my students' homework. My boss needs it for today. Sorry, all that, all that interesting. Yes. Um, yes, I need to finish now. Um, good luck, Carly. Okay, good luck. Very good job. Thank good you. Luck. Perfect. And now let's listen to Roberto. Could you? Okay, with Juan, John. Okay. John, come on. John, are you, are, are you there? Yes. Okay. Okay. John, is there something you need to do tomorrow? Yes, actually, I need to call this, the seller. And you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have. Well, I have to supervise the employees for tomorrow. They are irresponsible. What a good routine! Yes, I have write a report of activity. That sounds interesting. Okay. Interesting. 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 Ok, nice. Interesting. Este Roberto se vio como que le estaba soplando en una, en una exposición. Así de ah. yes, yes, Ok, yes, nice. Yes. Te salvó, Juan. Ok. Perfect. Ok, we're going to continue later. Vamos a continuar con esto. No se me olvida, no se preocupe, no se me va a olvidar. But I need this. Ok, I want to hear some opinions about do you think that life is better now than 50 years ago? And for this, I will need uh, Aneris opinion. Okay, Aneris, and then Elizabeth. Ready, Aneris? Well, maybe Aneris is not able now. And um, Elizabeth, are you ready to give your opinion with speaking activity number two? Yes, ready. Thank you. I think not because environmental pollution increases considerably over the years in this way the rate of respiratory disease increases a natural resource also decrease as a result of deforestation okay Okay, uh, a very important word, disease, significa disease. enfermedad, mm -hmm. diseases, mm -hmm. enfermedades, um, igual que illnesses, enfermedades, illness, enfermedad, illnesses, enfermedades. Very good, Elizabeth. Now we have a lot of respiratory diseases or problems. Imagine we have COVID. Imagine with, with this pa pandemic problem, and we're going to have more and more. Okay, so that's really difficult. Thank you, Elizabeth. And there is ready for the show? Yes. Okay, then we go with Ivani. As soon as, soon as economic growth has improved a little, the science as education, although I feel that our culture values, values are very left at sight. Okay, yes. Um, I guess as the years are passing by, we have increasing, tenemos incremento, in positive things and negative things. Thank you. Yes. We go now with Ivania, right? And then Carly. 
Okay, I think that it is relative in the point that we we want we want to take it. For example, in the subject of technology, we are bare science. It is much easier to communicate or get information. However, before we had great peace of mind, we had little money we lived, there was less pollution, pollution mm -hmm. and many benefits. Okay, nice. Less pollution, menos contamination, less. Very nice, thank you. And now let's listen to Judith. And after Judith, we go with um, Carly. Carly and Judith. Okay. And I think that more or less. And because now technology makes many things easier for use, it shortens distances and science has advances and benefits in different ways. But 50 years ago, there was less pollution and more employment, and now jobs are reduced by technology. Okay, yes, there are a lot of things. For example, imagine a couple of years, quizá 10 años or 15 years, in the parking lots, in the malls, and in the commerciales, there were people getting tickets, and now we have machines. So as Carly says, uh, we have the machines are replacing people. Yeah, that's one example, one example. Thank you. Uh, what if we go now with Judith and then we go with Roberto. Uh, and my opinion, yes, because first of all, we are not still at, a, at, at war and technology development also facilitates communication, great travel access to banking, among others. Yes, that's something really, really positive that now we have access to banking. We have some apps in which you can pay your bills from your house, okay? So one of those positive things. And thank you, we go with Roberto and then Christy. Okay. Firstly, I do believe that life is better now than 60 years ago, because now technology is very advanced. In addition to that, there are many new things. For example, cell phones, transportation, and many things that did not exist 60 years ago. Yeah, good, good example, very nice points. And we go with Christy and then Patty. Okay. It's, it's, it's better now. Before there was no internet technology as ground so fast that it's difficult to determine when it becomes essential to every everyday life. Okay, very good. Thank you. And Patty, are you ready? Yes. Okay. In my opinion, each time has been very special. However, if we talk about technology and communication, it is better today if we talk about uh, the the environment and the guiton a do 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 it was better 15 years ago okay very nice thank you yes well as you can see we have different points of view uh, some of uh, you say that six years ago was better. Some of you think that now it's better, but that's really good. 
because we have different opinions. Okay, we're going to finish uh, with a couple of, of pairs. Ya casi terminamos, vamos con esto. Aneris, who was your classmate for this activity in which you had your own conversation? No alcanzamos a terminar. Qué bárbaro, no puede ser. Yeah. Está bien, Aneris, no problem. Vamos entonces con... ¿Cuál es Iris? No. Ok. If it is couldn't, um, Ivania tampoco me dijo. Y Elizabeth? Sí. Sí, sí más o menos. Ah, más o menos. ¿Entendemos? Sí, este, mi compañero es Francisco. Ok. Ok. Um... Comienzo. Elizabeth, is there something I need to do tomorrow? Yes, always for pay report of pay rolls in you. Well, I have checked the progress of camera installation. For tomorrow. No, uh, of tomorrow. It already is the interesting activity. It is a, an interesting activity for the world vein of the population. Of course, it's okay. It's todo. Ta it's todo, okay. teacher. Very good. Nosotros le hicimos un cambio ahí personal. No, sí, ya me di cuenta. Esos cambios están <laughs> interesantes. Thank you. Very nice. Me gusta que intenten. Hay que siempre intentar. No hay problema. Ok, I'm going to check the attendance list and we say goodbye. But uh, Ivania, it's your turn for the session. To, es tu turno para la sesión, ok? Ok. Nice. Uh, say hi, hello. Uh, good evening. Y ya vamos a ir terminando. Comenzamos con Elizabeth. Hello. Hello. Nice. Flor. Present. Good. Francisco. Present. Gabriel. Present. Ok. Helen. Good night, teacher. Good night, Iris. Present, teacher. Nice. Uh, Juan. Present teacher. Good. Judith. Present. Good night. Nice. Good night. Ivania. Hi, teacher. Hi, Carly. I'm here, teacher. You're there, Kathy. Good night. Good night, Marvin. Present. Good. Nelson. Present. Nice. Patty. Good night. Roberto. Present. Good night, Chris. teacher. Good night, Christy. Present, um, teacher. William. Good. And, Present, teacher. Nice. Jocelyn. Good night. Good night. And Anaris. Good night. Solo, good night. Solo recordarles a todos que hagan los eh, terminen. Sugiero que terminen ahora todos los cinco ejercicios de la unidad 2. Y otra cosa, cuando termine la unidad 2 es necesario hacer el midterm. El midterm es un examen de medio curso. Pueden hacerlo ahora o pueden hacerlo mañana. Sugiero que si lo pueden hacer ahora, terminenlo porque mañana es viernes chiquito y no va a ser que no puedan terminar completamente el examen ahí y vamos a estar a medias. Así que recuerden que mañana después de la clase paso notas y de igual manera el sábado en la mañana como a las 8 de la mañana paso notas, ¿verdad? Pero no puedo dar más tiempo. Así que, que pueden hacerlo poco a poco, ¿verdad? Es corto realmente. Así que ánimo, recuerden terminar la unidad, las tareas de la unidad 2 y el examen de medio curso. Ok, my friends. So, see you tomorrow.
Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, Ivania, hello. Hola, teacher. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo han estado tus horarios? Más, más difíciles. Ay, sí, son más complicados ¿Qué ahora. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Las estás este rotando con Helen o cómo? Sí, las tres, bueno, las tres. Con Jocelyn, ¿verdad? Mismo. Ajá, con Jocelyn, entonces. Bueno, a ella les toca a veces salir más tarde, pero a mí me toca venir de más lejos porque me toca ya camino a Zaragoza. Entonces, en todo lo que subo. ¿Hasta dónde? Hasta Rondel Chapijandal, Constitución. Sí, sí. Y Entonces, no está tan lejos, pero hay. No, hay es el tráfico. Es el tráfico de la Constitución y todo eso. Sí. Entonces, sí, es terrible. Ay, es horrible. ¿no? Sí, me y más que con, con los horarios que a veces salgo a seis, seis y media, siete. No, me imagino, me imagino. Me imagino. Ok, no problem. Mira, siempre y cuando te puedas conectar, aunque sea de oyente, y después cuando ya estás en tu casa me avisas y hagas las tareas, ahí vamos, ¿ok? Sí, gracias. Ok, este, una cuestión. Tenemos dificultades con algún tema que hemos visto, alguna estructura gramatical mm. o alguna clase que te haya parecido un tanto complicado, difícil. Eh, quizás con los temas no, pero... A mí se me dificulta bastante, quizás ahorita que estamos bastante con las tareas, que ya para exponer nuestros puntos de vista, uh -huh. eh, no sé cómo se le llama, es para la unión de, de frases o de oraciones, no sé, yo lo busqué en TikTok, pero decía que sí. eran como conectores. Exacto. Entonces vi también que el qué se dice de distinta forma dependiendo la idea, entonces... No es solamente edad, ¿verdad? Sino que como Ajá. que se ocupa varias. Entonces, eso, cuando sí y cuando no. Uh -huh. okay. y, y, y ejemplos de conectores, ¿verdad? Para no ocupar lo mismo y, y así, ¿verdad? Porque vi que nos estaba ayudando para decir sin embargo. Uh -huh. Entonces, más eso, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Sí, para bien. ya no ocupar mucho el traductor porque nada que ver a veces la idea. Sí, es que si te das cuenta, <risa> si te das cuenta, a veces puedes utilizar el traductor, digamos, para la primer, para el, el curso anterior. Ajá, y o ahorita sea, es como que la idea nada que ver, ¿verdad? Entonces lo que quizás pasa, mejor sí, me voy a piecito. ¿verdad? Lo que sucede es que ahora si te das cuenta, las preguntas son un poquito diferentes. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este, déjenme ver. Por acá tenía. Sí, ¿te acuerdas que les di unos conectores? Sí, eh, yo los anoté, que era first, second, uh -huh. forever. Eh... Sí, fíjate que los estoy buscando acá. Ajá, entonces, en este caso... Como te, como le explicaba, no se trata de, 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 que, de que los utilicen todos, ¿verdad? Pero uh -huh. sí que utilicen sí. por lo menos uno de cada, de cada uno. Permítame, yo lo voy a mantener. No los encuentro. Sí, o, o los distintos que vea, porque ese, sí me quedé como que es más extenso ese conector, uh -huh. que, que más se ocupa. Según yo, solo era TAT, pero son varios. Uh -huh. Varias palabras que es lo mismo. Uh -huh. ¿Cuáles anotaste? Ah, ese no. No los anotaste. De, del video que vi. Uh -huh. Ya le digo. Okay. 
Vaya, eh, that, que es normal, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, which, que es el siete de pregunta, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. eh, aquí había otro. Dan, creo que también, que es cuando es comparativo. Uh -huh. Solo esa creo que no está. Mumbai. Sí, sí, me pregunta. Sí, cuando está. Sí, ya, ya sé cuál es, cuál es, viste. Ajá, entonces. Sí, 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 no, pero igual. Um, pero no veo. Ok, va, en, en ese caso, cuando utilizamos el, el DAT, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh. significa un qué de, de unión palabras, ¿verdad? Que, por ejemplo, uh -huh. um, something that I like is, algo que me gusta es, ¿verdad? El otro uh -huh. que es el DAT es un comparativo, por ejemplo, um, pizza is better dan uh, burger que la hamburguesa ok entonces uh -huh. es un que de comparativo verdad pizza es mejor que la hamburguesa la otra es el which pero el which se utiliza como un cual por ejemplo which which um, which restaurant is your favorite. Let's find some which restaurant is your favorite or which is your uh, which is your favorite restaurant. In este caso, el which lo utilizamos para decir qué o también cuál. Mm -hmm. Pero en este caso es cuando tenemos opciones. Hay varias opciones. Okay, you can say Kentucky, Pizza Hut, Tony Romas. Uh, whatever mm -hmm. okay but you have different options and different options verdad entonces que verdad and uh, that that which verdad de allí lo otro que que déjenme ver que mis otros comentarios que son super importantes porque he escuchado tu, tus opiniones eh, tus puntos de vista y lo estás haciendo bien, fíjate. Estás utilizando bastantes palabras de las cuales yo les he dado. Ajá, pero siento que todavía no me doy como entender, vea, porque cuando lo busco así en el traductor, nada que ver la idea. Entonces... Uh -huh. Lo que pasa, sí, eh, lo que pasa es que mmm, vaya, cuando vos haces, digamos, Quieres decir algo con el traductor, te lo va a cambiar o traducir de una manera bien, casi literal. En cambio, cuando quieres dar tu punto de vista, es bueno que intentes hacerlo con tus palabras. Oíste, Ivana, si quieres, para las otras actividades, puedes utilizar un poco el traductor con ideas que no puedes dar, pero no lo, no lo utilizas por completo. Si te das cuenta... En el grupo, acá en la clase, hay algunos que sí utilizan el traductor. Bien, se nota. Porque para empezar les cuesta pronunciar ciertas palabras. Porque hay palabras más básicas que pueden utilizar, pero el traductor a veces te pone palabras difíciles. Entonces trata de utilizar tus, tu propio vocabulario o palabras que son fáciles para vos. Aunque suene básico, no importa. Siento que sí tenés, sí estás avanzando, Iván ya tus opiniones son más, más extensas, ya no son cortitas. ¿Te acordás que el, el curso pasado era, era más limitado? ¿verdad? Era más fácil la pregunta. Pues. Sí, ajá. Ah, pero ahora la tengo idea. que incrementar un poquito, ¿verdad? Esa es la idea, pero siento que va bien. Solo que posiblemente tenés menos tiempo, ¿verdad? Para hacer las cosas, sí, pero... Sí, sí, está. Sí, porque incluso hasta las tareas se me han acumulado y todo, trato de hacerlo hasta el viernes, que sería hasta mañana. Pero uh -huh. es una ola ahorita nada más, pero sí, vamos, vamos, vamos ahí saliendo de esto para ya estar con más tiempo. ¿eh? Claro, la, claro. Por las tres, ¿eh? porque ahorita si las tres estamos con un caos, 
pero tratamos de conectarnos. Entonces, este, como se llama, solo faltan dos semanas, ¿ok? Después de mañana dos semanas y ya vamos a estar más, más libres. ¿Sí? Ok. Así que ánimo, gracias. Dani, ¿verdad? Ánimo, ¿verdad? Bueno, ya falta poco, gracias. ¿verdad? Eh, nos vemos mañana entonces, ¿ok? Bye, bye. Ok, good night. Good night. Gracias.